So I dropped this man from my rotation. Uh, the dates were good. Um, he was one of the older men in my rotation. However, there was a day that I had a date scheduled, right? So I arrived to the restaurant, well, outside the, it was like in a very high-end mall. So we met and when I got there, he planned to me a kiss in public, but I, it was like unexpected. And he could tell I was not comfortable with it. And he was like, oh, I, I figured that if I didn't, you would probably think I was ignoring you. Know? No, I'm just not comfortable with this place of affection in public, right? So after that, we still went to dinner. I told him that I was not comfortable with it, but it, I, I still remain graceful. It's something that can happen and I did handle it gracefully. However, we went over for dinner and this man seemed a little bit like there was a sight of depression in him. And this is a very high profile guy. He is probably a workaholic. He has gotten where he has gotten because of it. But I, I did enjoy my meal and everything. It was pleasant. But when he walked me back to my car, he planted another kiss. And this was more like in there and i was not having it so i was like oh yeah yeah goodbye and whatever and i'm not advising you ghost people but when he texted me again i just did not reply i'm not sure if that was the mature thing to do but um i felt like i told him the first time that i was not comfortable with it and then he did it again and I was not having it. And the other thing that was like, he felt like a little bit low in energy. And I mean, there's no need. It's not like I don't have dates to go to or things to do or other events to attend or friends. So um, just be very mindful of where you place your energy. I know that at first you need to start dating. It's more of an exercise. But once you are in a mature level of dating, you can start being as selective as you can. And it's completely fine to drop a man out of your rotation if he's not behaving or it doesn't have to be something big. And this is the thing, ladies. We have been accustomed to endure, um, I don't want to say poor treat treatment, but things we're not comfortable with and we overextend ourselves. So if you already know you don't like something, it's better to not continue the, the dynamic. So yeah, that was why I dropped off a man of my rotation and he had been very, um, nice so far um took me out to very expensive dinners uh, bought things for, for for me um took me to new experiences but i was not feeling it and i i wanted to share this because i don't want you to feel guilty about dropping some of the men in your rotation even if they are stepping up there are certain things that are non-negotiables and in my mind it was like I already already told this guy once and in the same night I mean uh, I, 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 I felt icky and that's the thing ladies some men are going to give you the ick and I don't think there's a remedy for that there are men that are not exactly your type that you can date and you will get to know and you might be pleasantly surprised but the thing of the ick is that it doesn't go away i was talking to one of my friends uh last week 
and she she was dating this um, this guy. He is very attentive to her. He has provided a lot of things for her. He is there for her. Let's just say. But she was like, there's something that, like even his smell. He doesn't smell bad. That there's something in his smell that does not suit me and that's the thing ladies we have to remember that the at the end of the day we are animals and things like like smell it, they don't have to stink in order for you to not like their odor and we try that to avoid like the chemistry rush and chemical rush and everything when you're with somebody you really like but that's also part of the attraction like there is logical, smart woman requirements that you need to date someone. And there's also the animalistic part. You actually have to like this guy. And I found it very interesting because she said that about his odor. And I was like, yeah, he's not compatible with you. That's just a thing that's not, it's not something you can change. And it's normal because we're animals and we smell each other to know whether we are uh, compatible to reproduce, you know? So yeah, I found that very interesting. So <laughs> I just wanted to share. And uh, before I leave, remember to follow me on my Instagram at Fabulous University. And if you're interested in having a coaching call or a divine, divine feminine reading, which I know I have not talked about that much. And it's, it's so um, funny because that's how I started. And I really enjoy um, reading these human design charts for my clients. It's, it's fascinating to see them when they realize how their energy flows. And they're always like, oh my God, this makes so much sense. I, I felt this, but I was not sure, and I'll talk more about that. I really, I really need to have more of those. I, I love reading charts. So yeah, ladies, don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.